Hey guys, this is Dadaki. Welcome to my first Road to Valor Empires uh, deck building video. Um, today I want to show you a deck which is heavily inspired by uh, the most famous Tree Lord um, Relictor deck from Realm War. Um, so let's see what we need for this deck. As a guardian we have Amaret Tazu, um, which we need because she gets an increased max MP at the start of the match and has the ability to get more MP for only 2 CP. Um, we have Centurion, who brings um, a nice defense boost to all surrounding units. We have Tenju, who can protect uh, our troops with his wind wall from projectiles. We have the Long Spear Warrior as a anti-cavalry and stun unit. We have Benkai, who is also a protector for all allied troops. We have Shogun, who also is a protector for our troops, because he makes them immortal for six seconds instead of letting them die. We have Manhunter to stun and uh, kill enemy hero units. And we got Yamato Defender as a spearhead uh, unit. The great thing about Yamato Defender is that he can use his shield multiple times, so to say. So he also um, gets an HP bonus when he gets his rearm um, ability. So let's take a look at the uh, items. Actually, you want to have everyone with uh, healing items so they uh, just get more survivability but I have don't have that much of healing items on a higher level so um, I chose quicksword for Centurion because he just has a, uh, attack speed of 2.5 seconds um, retaliation armor for him. For Tenju I chose the Conqueror, Conqueror's Fang. I got lucky and have him in uh, elite quality and because we almost always will spawn Tenju in the enemy territory he always gets this uh, attack speed boost. Then I chose to give him Silky Rope, which I don't have on a high level too. Um, Long Spear Warrior gets a Steel Great Sword in rare quality and a Fairy Sleeve in rare quality. Benkai gets a Bloody Slaughter in rare quality, a Nature's Blessing, and his. Uh, Steelheart unique, which is a must have for him, in my opinion. Um, Executioner's X for Shogun, but I highly recommend that you give him a Bloody Slaughter instead if you have it on a decent level. Um, Manhunter with a Shock Hammer, it deals 
more damage and also gets this uh, stun chance additionally to his stun ability uh, magic shield because we use him as a um, unit that's spawned when needed so even if he gets into some trouble right when he spawns he has some seconds to do his job and his job is to stun a minor tower or an achilles or something else so it's just needed so he can do his job and yamato defender gets a rusty dagger and a vitality vest which I also highly recommend for Shogun or Centurion so they get more HP um, so let's head over to some gameplay and uh, show you how this works have fun Okay, so welcome to our first showcase. The goal of this deck is to create an impossible to beat meatball, so to say. So we start with um, Yamato Defender and um, Spearman. Use hold position to create um, a big bunch of strong units and uh, put Bankai in the back so he can protect the others and then you need to take a look what's going on if there is a strong enemy Medusa or Minotaur or something like that. You need to play Manhunter before Shogun. If there's no nothing like that, play Shogun instead. So um, Shogun protects Bankai from dying, so Bankai can protect the other units longer and keeps the survivability high. If your push gets destroyed don't try to throw something um, in, f in front. Better start over. Take your time, build another meatball and start from scratch instead of throwing away your MP for nothing. And this is what happens if you do this right. As you can see, you create an unstoppable army of strong units. So the next showcase is uh, from Chubby, who is actually the real creator of this deck and uh, he plays it a lot better than me and has a lot higher units than me um, so let's see how he's doing this as you can see he's waiting what happens and takes a look first what comes from the opponent and then place uh, his troops and I spoiler you a bit now you will lose this tower but just take a look how survivable those troops are from his from him are they fight against an army of shielded troops from Athena 
and without those shields they would have wiped entirely within seconds. So he knows now, okay, I can't push the right side and um, I will probably lose this uh, push. So I'm heading also for the left side and try to deal some damage there. Here comes the Shogun. And I only can repeat myself. Don't get hesitated. Don't get nervous. If there are some troops uh, walking in front of your castle, just keep them going. It's okay, your castle can defend himself. Just build over and uh, start over your push, as Chubby does this now. Play hold position. So all troops. are at one place here. Here comes the Shogun. There's the shield again from Athena. But to no avail. Chubby's troops just rampage through those enemy lines like they are nothing. And now he actually has so much high HP and damage troops, it's just insane. It's just insane. This is almost unstoppable. I know nothing actually that can stop this push. Not even Athena can, pu can, can stop it. And the castle is gone. Alright, this is it. So, if you like this kind of content, please like the video and subscribe to my channel. Have a great day. Bye bye, see you next time.